This episode is brought to you by Cash App. When personal finance connects you to both your funds and the stuff that matters, that's money and that's Cash App. You know what else is money? The color blue found in nature. Things that are liquids, but also solids, but also liquids. And of course, blue noodles. That's money. That's Cash App. Download Cash App from the App Store or Google Play Store today to add your cash tag to the 80 million and counting. Look alive. He's on his way up. Is he even allowed to approve over time? That's his problem. Not if we don't get it. Well, that'll be his name on the time scan. Ferrix. Yes, sir. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Binging with Babish, where this week we're taking a look at the blue noodles from Endor, I mean Andor, in an admittedly very, very fast appearance. But it's one of several canonical blue foods in Star Wars, probably because blue is found so rarely in nature, so blue foods take on a space-like quality. Here's one of the rare examples used in food coloring, blue butterfly pea flowers, which the official Star Wars Galaxy's Edge cookbook calls for to make Gourmanda's Glow Blue Noodles. The recipe is as follows, four cups of water brought to a simmer with a sachet of blue butterfly pea flowers. Now these have very mild, floral, grassy quality to them, so hopefully they won't interfere with other flavors. Next up, the recipe calls for eight ounces of rice noodles added to the now very, very blue water. We're gonna allow those to cook to a state of completion. In the meantime, in a small saucepan, we're adding half cup each heavy cream and unsalted butter and one crushed clove of garlic. This mixture we're gonna bring to a simmer. Then once simmering, we take it off the heat and add one and a half cups of grated Parmesan cheese, tiny whisking as we go. Once the noodles are cooked and the sauce is um, mixed, prepared, whatever this stuff is, we're just gonna pour it right over the blue noodles in a big old bowl. And since it's just boiled cream and butter with some cheese mixed in, it's pretty loose and splashy. I think they were going for like a quickie Alfredo vibe here. And then to up the alien look, it calls to garnish with quartered tricolor cherry tomatoes and mini mozzarella pearls. And there you have it, Gourmanda's Glow Blue Noodles from the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge cookbook, which while it might look like it's from a galaxy far, far away, I'm not super confident is gonna taste awesome. So let's twirl some up and see what we're dealing with here. And as I suspected, it's pretty much just a cheater's Alfredo, albeit a much looser one with bits of raw garlic thrown in there for good measure. It's certainly not inedible or even horribly bad, it's just not great. Once it cools and the sauce thickens up, it saves it a little bit, but this is of course just an easy way for families and kids to enjoy some space noodles. For our version, I'm thinking the most viable noodle to M blue is going to be a potato starch glass noodle. So I'm going to start by steeping some of these blue butterfly pea flowers in some hot water, set that aside, and then in a large bowl, much larger than this, we're going to start assembling our noodles. Now, normally the way this is done is to make a slurry out of some potato starch and water, and then to that slurry, you add some boiling water, in this case, our blue butterfly pea water, which needs to be freshly boiling because you want the water to gelatinize the starches in the starch, so that now as you add more potato starch to adjust into a dough, hopefully this doesn't happen and you end up with non-Newtonian fluid, which while it makes a super fun science project that you can pour like a liquid and then slap like a solid, it doesn't so much make for great noodles. Because without those gelatinized starches, the noodles have nothing to hold them together. So when it comes time to pipe them into boiling water, instead of forming delicious edible worms, it just kind of disappears. I don't know why you're still going, Andy. This clearly isn't working. You're still gonna keep going, huh? All right, that's your choice. While you're doing that, I'm gonna try a more reliable recipe from YouTuber East Meats Kitchen. Combining at first 50 grams each cool water and potato starch, mix that into a slurry, and then add 200 to 250 grams of freshly boiling blue butterfly pea flour tea, which when whisked should form a thick, gloopy, keyword gelatinous mixture. This indicates that our starches have been gelatinized and we can add the remaining 400 to 500 grams of potato starch. I say 400 to 500 because you're gonna need to adjust as necessary to get the mixture into an extremely thick but pipeable consistency. Adding more water or cornstarch is necessary to get the right texture. This can be a little labor intensive, but no more than any other pasta dough, I'd say. Once you got it about as thick as you can get it so that it's still pourable, we're placing it in a piping bag, snipping the tip, and piping it directly into some barely boiling water where hopefully it won't immediately disappear and instead form long, spooky blue noodles that are done as soon as they float, about 30 seconds. They don't stick to each other at all, which is awesome, so you don't have to worry about overlapping. And after their super quick cook time, they're getting scooped out and placed into a cool water bath. And that's all there is to it. The dough might be a little tricky to get together, but this is every bit as fun as it looks. And not only does it yield a robust blue noodle, it's a pretty awesome noodle. It tastes good, barely any butterfly pea flower taste, and all that whipping and whisking works in tiny little air bubbles that glitter like a toy from the 90s. And they're just about as slurpable as it is possible for a noodle to be. Now the best recipe I can think of for glass noodles that also won't ruin their color is a sort of chap -che. In a small bowl, I'm combining one tablespoon soy sauce, two tablespoons mirin, a teaspoon of white sugar, a tablespoon of sesame oil, 
and two cloves of minced garlic. We're gonna add half this sauce during cooking and save the other half for plating. Now over on the stovetop in stages in a carbon steel pan, we're gonna heat small amounts of vegetable oil and use it to saute half a small sliced onion until lightly caramelized and soft, about three to five minutes, followed by four ounces of sliced shiitake mushrooms cooked to a golden brown crisp. We're adding both the onions and mushrooms to a large tossing bowl. Then finally over on the stovetop, we're gonna saute our blue noodles and a little bit of oil over high heat, just enough to heat them through and maybe darken them a tiny, tiny bit. Then we're adding half our sauce and letting it just get kissed by the flame. Don't want all that garlic and sugar to burn, so after about 20 seconds, it's going straight into the bowl, where it's gonna get tossed together with the rest of the sauce, the cooked vegetables, and a tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds. Give this guy a spirited tossing, plate up, and get ready to slurp. As you can see, the blue noodles have not been too negatively affected by the cooking process. They might not look as fantastical as the other noodles, but I have a feeling they're gonna taste a whole lot better, especially when garnished with thinly sliced chives and sesame seeds. So let's give it a try, and it's really, really good. It's chap jay, but it's also blue, which is awesome. About the only problem I'm running into is that the noodles are way too long, so maybe give those a snip if you wanna try this yourself. Thanks again to Cash App. That's money, that's Cash App. Download Cash App from the App Store or Google Play Store today to add your cash tag to the 80 million and counting.